Have you ever been bullied before? I have. Well, we're going to watch a quick video, and I can relate to this video a lot because I've been a young, fat young man, and I realize what it feels like. But this does beg the question, is bullying necessary? Well, y'all let me know. Here we go. What the fuck is wrong? Now, there's a good chance that this individual knew these individuals that make fun of her, and that's why she started crying. Let me say this. I understand that people say that this generation, generation the millennials, generation X, Z, alpha, whatever, they say that we're all soft, okay? However, this is a young individual, and I don't quite understand why somebody can't be hurt sometimes. Shit, I understand that we want to live in a world that's hard and tough because the world is hard and tough. You know, it's going to make you what you are. But I don't get why when somebody gets made fun of um, that sometimes they can't snap. People aren't allowed to cry. People aren't allowed to just be like, fuck, it's getting to me today because that does happen. No matter how many times you want to tell a person to get tough, get thick skin. Damn, it doesn't even matter what you look like. There's got to be times that even when you're let's say you're in the greatest shape of your life, there could be somebody who could just walk up to you and be like, Damn, you look like shit. And you know you don't look like shit. And it still gets to you. It still hurts you. You still go home. You still cry. Because when people do this shit, it hurts. No matter how you slice it, man. We're going to go to another video and that I'm going to show right here. Are you getting chubbier or is it just the makeup? <laughs> Thank you for the $5. Love that. Uh, Becky, thank you so much for the tier one. IZ Bailey, thank you so much for the prime. Now, y'all tell me. Now, we just saw that your overweight girl get made fun of. She starts crying. Some people, y'all in the comment section might have been like, well, she's fat. You know, maybe she should lose some weight. What about this individual? What did I just say? That even when you're looking your best, the shit still gets to you. It doesn't matter. So there's no difference really between that girl getting upset for somebody calling her Rod Wave and this person getting called chubby. It doesn't matter. On a day when you're trying to hold it together, and somebody just says something that just presses that button, is it okay? Is it necessary to bully them? They're bullying a, 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 an attractive young lady here. But the results still ended the same. Both still ended exactly the same with both of them crying. Is it okay now? Is it okay now? Does it make any sense now? Let's watch that one more time. Are you getting chubbier or is it just the makeup? <laughs> Thank you for the five dollars. Love that. <laughs> uh, Becky, thank you so much for the tier one. I Z Bailey, thank you so much for the prime. You see, she she she, caught, she cracked right there as soon as she said prime. Couldn't help herself. Couldn't help herself from breaking down right there. Let's go to a, another uh, part here. What I want to say to this is that everybody has bad days. Now, I just got done listening to, I'm reading it for the second time, or I'm listening to it for the second time. Jeanette McCurdy's book, I'm Glad My Mother Died. Okay? It is an excellent book, okay? excellent book. If you really want to look into the world of what some of these young women go through, what you men, not men, sorry, <laughs> what you guys think about sometimes when you say this kind of stuff, because I don't know who made that comment. 
But when it, people say this kind of stuff to women who are attractive, have nice looking bodies, they have no idea what people are going through to get through that, to get to that. Jeanette McCurdy in her book shows how she got her figure, how she got the way she looked. And she goes on to talk about how many people, women and men, women would be like, oh, you look so great. Just don't get too small. You know what I mean? Even though she was only, she weighed less than a hundred pounds. They're telling her just, you know, not get too small, too small. And then she had a man telling her how great she looks and that he can't help looking at her ass. She had men touching her. She had men doing disgusting things. She had women telling her disgusting things. And this was all why she was going through all her problems of her body. She had the worst, worst, worst image of herself. I'm not trying to ruin the whole book because I want you guys to read it. But just know this, because I'm sure you've heard an interview. She did not have a beautiful, uh, she did not have a beautiful image of herself and the thing she did is just so baffling please go check out that book but it's, since i've read that book and now that i'm looking at what this young lady was just going through i get it you know even though she looks great if people have no idea what the fuck is going on in your life they have no idea what's going on it was get see one of the things is that we deal with is we do live in a first world country. We have AC, we have lighting, we have mics, we have beautiful lives. Okay. And people will kill us on that because they'll be like, well, why should you be upset? Why should you be sad? Why should you do this? Why should you do that? You know what the beautiful thing about is when you get all the luxuries of life. Cause this is why people who make tons of money, who become millionaires and become wealthy people still blow their heads off because at the core of all of us, it doesn't matter where we come from. If we were living on the streets and had no food and no, no clean running water, water and we were on our way to death before we even turned six that would be a sucky life too but at the core of every one of us no matter how much money we got or how poor we are at the end of the day we all are struggling with some way to love ourselves some way to um fall in love with who we see in the mirror or who we even see next to us or try to fall in love with the life we got we try not to be imposters so no matter if we live in a first world country or she's probably making some good money Doing her life, even though people think, oh, she's pretty, she's attractive, she's got it all going on. That's why life is so fucking hard for all of us. That's why it's so hard for all of us. Because at the end of all of it, we still are individuals living our individual lives, trying to figure out how the hell to make it to tomorrow sometimes. No matter how much money we have, no matter how beautiful we are, shit still sucks. Because we all go through those self-doubt, self-deprecating, self-hating moments. And that's a story for another day. Let me go ahead and give y'all one more version of that. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. The rest of the stuff in bags. There's stuff over here, too. There's stuff that you put down here that needs to be in bed. Let me stop it before we continue. I want y'all to keep this framework in mind. This individual lady is filming herself being a bitch. I, I, I was going to say the word rude, but I, I couldn't even get it out. This woman is really showing herself being rude to an individual and saying, you need to put this in the back. You need to put that in the back. Why would you film that? You see what I'm saying? Now, this person probably put it on their own account and somebody took it and put those words over it that says Walmart customer lost it. Or maybe she did that herself. But she's going to say something that really bothers me later. And I want y'all to uh, continue to listen. Okay, you just damaged my cereal. I don't even Girl, it's a box. It's a box. Yeah. Wait, okay, okay. Then I'll take it on. You don't want to be here today. Now, did she damage the box? She did. We're not gonna we're not gonna we're not gonna I'm not gonna refute that. When she went to put the box in. She she crumpled it at the top. She grabbed it at the very top where there's no air. We'll watch that again. Okay, you just damaged my cereal. You don't need Girl, it's a box. It's a box. Yeah, okay, okay. And I'll take it on. Okay. So was she justified in this part? Yeah. Yeah, she did damage the box. But here's the thing, you're you're freaking filming her. 
and you're telling her what to do as if you're her boss. You're not her fucking boss. You're an individual at this store. And I'll be honest with you. This is the things that do suck about nine to fives. Because unfortunately, even if you were to get pissed off and you lose your cool one day after working at one place for five years and you finally lose your shit one day and you do something like this young lady did and you get on there and you're like, and you be like, you know what, ma'am? <laughs> I'm going to cancel this whole order. You're going to have to go somewhere else. I don't give a fuck what they do to me. I don't care. Today, today's not my day. I'm not having a good one. And ma'am, you're upsetting me. So you know what I'm going to do today? I'm just, I, I can't do it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to shut this shit down and I'm going to get my manager. We're going to see where it goes from there. But you ain't getting checked out by me. Maybe he'll check you out the rest of it, but it ain't going to be me. Hey, I'm about to walk off, register six. You might want to come here, figure it out. And then I'll call over somebody from customer service or some checkup. Hey, Billy! <laughs> You don't have to come over here because I can't get this lady. I can't do it today. I'm going home. Do what you want. But see, the thing that sucks about that is when you have a nine to five, you can't do that shit. This is why I really suggest, and this is something even I try to do. And I'll talk about that more on stream. If y'all want to see what I'm talking about, y'all go to my streams and you'll see what I'm talking about. But there's something I really want to talk about here later in, in this in this case. But let's get back to the video. You don't want to be here today? Cause that is not customer service. The way you act. Batman, okay. Damn. I mean, can you let me live, baby? Please put my eggs in the bag. For you mother suckers who have never worked in a grocery store, I worked in a grocery store and the gas station at a grocery store. You know, so some, you know, like Walmart has its own gas station. I worked in those shits. <sighs> the way people talk to you, big dog. I try my best to always be nice, no matter where I go. The only time I've ever gotten an attitude with somebody is when they yelled at me. And if you yell at me, <laughs> oh, baby, I really never try to show my ass. You know what I mean? I don't like being angry and I don't like cursing nobody out. I really just hope people don't do it. I know it happens, but working in places like this and hearing people say that about their ex, I've had so many people say that when I used to be a bag boy. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Don't crush my eggs. Don't crush my eggs. Bitch, I ain't even touched the eggs yet. Can you give me a second to touch the eggs before you start talking about me snapping them and cracking them? Best believe eggs are broken at that time. Let me, let me just watch that again. Right here. No, no, let's go back. Right there. Eggs are broken. As soon as I hear somebody say something about, and don't break them. <laughs> Eggs are broken. I make sure you don't even know they're broken. As I'm putting it down in the bag, and when you can no longer see my hand, I'm going to crack every individual egg. They gonna be broken. Try me again. That's all I'm saying. You know, it, it's just hard to be nice to some of these people. You know what I'm saying? Now you see this right there. You see her going, "Oh my God, please just get off my ranch." God, Leah, Lord, have helped me, please. In this video, I be like, "Bitch, send it." Please send it to one eight hundred nine nine nine. Y'all see the first two videos? I was cool, calm, collected. This one hit home. I mean, being fat hit home too. But this hits home even more because it doesn't even matter who you are. People get treated like shit in customer service, man. Now most people get treated nicely. Most people they come in. Hey, how you doing today? I'm doing fine. Great. Do you have a number with us? Yeah. Five, 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 five. Great. I see you're a loyal customer. <laughs> what are you making tonight? Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to make me a banana smoothie. Oh, that's nice. All right. You have a good day. Here's your receipt. You say you save 25 cents. Thank you, ma'am. Goodbye. And that's the end of conversation the vast majority of the time. But some people, they just come in there and they got, and I get it. I get going in and having a chip on your shoulder. But people who treat people like shit, you know they have insecurities in their life. People who treat people like shit, they have something going on. So from the girl who got called Rod Wave, those people ain't got shit going on in their life. Because even if you know that she's fat, and you, you're trying to help her, you're trying to be a, a, a bully or whatever, you're trying to say, well, she should lose weight. 
Why would you go out of your way to be like, she's Rod Waite, and then laugh, and then get everybody else to laugh? How the fuck is that supposed to help anybody? Yeah, maybe she goes to the gym, maybe she changes her life, but you're still an asshole. And I mean, that's still not the way to go about it. That's still mean, and that's still despicable. That's not how you should treat anybody. For the person who called the girl chubby just to get some clout or anything like that, it doesn't make any sense to do that, but people are going to do that because they sent money. And that's why I wouldn't allow anybody to say shit to me like that down there. You blocked. You never heard of again. But nonetheless, some people need the money or they act like they need the money. I don't understand why some of the people just speaking for the streaming girl why they would let anybody talk shit about them I get having a thick skin you're trying to have fun with the stream I don't personally get that uh, because if you talk shit to me you get blocked end of the day that's it I don't understand why some people put themselves through that now I understand when people go the David Goggins route and he could pee see David Goggins could put on a mixtape and listen to it and it gets him fired up but even David Goggins talks about how it gets to him everything gets to all of us so I'm never going to just put myself through something purposely, especially if it's something I do eight hours a day and all I can do is just sit here and listen to people talk shit. Nope. Cutting them off. And for the last individual who works in retail, man, she was having a bad day. It happens. Okay. She crushed your box of cereal. I get it. She shouldn't have done that. But at the end of the day, you came in there with your camera on already pushing her buttons. And do you expect people to not see some people snap in different ways? And her snap was grabbing that box and trying to get you out of there. That was her way of just... And she probably, when she grabbed the box, I bet you that she didn't know how hard she grabbed it. Cause she grabbed the box right before she grabbed that one. And she went to grab that one and just like, fuck. She grabbed that box and now she's crushed. And now she's here. You running your mouth again. <sighs> Here's my thing about people who bully people. Okay. Some people say bullying is necessary. Some people say shaming people is necessary. I got no nothing wrong with if you want to shame somebody. I don't care people who are obese if you want to say, hey, you being fat, that's something you need to fix. I got no problem with that. If you want to shame somebody, fine. Just don't go out of your way to do it. I just don't understand how you have to, you have to get on that thing. Hey, fat ass, your mama's this, your mama's that, you're going to die, you this, you this, you that, you this, you this, you that, you this, you that. Especially if somebody just working on it. You know what I mean? I don't feel like you have to go out of your way to be an asshole. For the second girl, like I said, I just wouldn't do that for my stream. And for the last girl, <sighs> fuck that bitch. All right, goodbye.